Good evening and welcome to Wembley for England against East Germany. A friendly, it's true, but played on a day when the World Cup trail begins in earnest for others. Tonight's match is important, not so much for the result, but for the performances of those players who strive to become part of Bobby Robson's first 11. First, though, a quick look at tonight's other results. In their friendly match, a fine warm-up for Scotland, they beat Yugoslavia 6-1. Good news in England's group in the World Cup, Group 3. Northern Ireland 3, Romania 2. Bad news for Wales, sadly, in Group 7, Iceland beat them 1-0. And in Group 6, a superb result for the Republic of Ireland, they beat the Soviet Union 1-0. And finally, in League Division 2, Cardiff 2 leads 1. Well, as well as the views of Laurie McMenemy and Trevor Brooking, we'll have action and full details of those matches later from Tony Gubber. But first, it's England versus East Germany. Your commentator at Wembley is John Moxon. Peter Shilton, who made his England debut here against East Germany 14 years ago, presents the silver salver to that country's most famous player, Joachim Streich, who tonight makes his 100th international appearance. Shilton himself winning his 64th cap tonight and joined in the England team by two Southampton club mates who make their first international appearance at Wembley. There's 21-year-old Mark Wright who's never played at Wembley at all before and in midfield Steve Williams whose only previous Wembley appearance was a League Cup final. Williams takes the right-hand side of midfield in England's 4-3-3 formation with Bobby Robson emphasising that a good display tonight could mean an unchanged team for next month's World Cup opener against Finland. There's stiff competition now among the strikers with the Arsenal combination of Mariner and Woodcock who've never as a pair been on the losing side for England keeping out the Italian-based Hapi and Francis who are both named among the substitutes. Apart from the recall of Strike, who becomes the 12th European player to reach 100 caps, the German Democratic Republic field the side that beat Romania, one of England's World Cup rivals, only two weeks ago. And it's essentially the team that would have competed in the Los Angeles Olympics, but for the Eastern Bloc boycott. Referee for this friendly international, Albert Thomas of Holland, gets the match started with East Germany playing from right to left in the blue shirts and white shorts and here's Strife with an early touch as Wilkins gets back. Here's John Barnes. And Starman, the big number four, has gone to Mark Mariner, which was what we expected. Starman of Magdeburg and Mariner, the England centre forward. And you'll see number three, Dorner, there, playing as the orthodox sweeper as far as uh, East European football is concerned. The East German club sides all play the same way. A free man behind the three marking defenders. And while England have the more orthodox four at the back. This is Steinbach with the throw for East Germany. Into Minger. Disappointing attendance was expected and seeing Wembley more than half empty may make you wonder why internationals can't be played in the provinces occasionally but the FA are contractually committed to Wembley. Steve Williams. Here's Woodcock. Robson is well forward and that floated right across the goal. Williams was involved in the build-up. When he played in uh, Paris last season, Steve Williams, he played on the left-hand side which many people felt was not his best position. But he started that move, which uh, led to Woodcock's cross just eluding Brian Robson. Steinbach. Ants to his right. By arms of the Dutch referee. So that the tackle by Terry Butcher was fair. It gave Mark Wright the chance to come out of defence with the ball. Robson anxious to take over. Barnes out on the left. Mariner and Woodcock waiting in the centre. Here's Wilkins. And Kenny Sampson made a run from the back. And Williams is there. Goalkeeper made a good save. Steve Williams with the header. Good play by England. Wilkins in the midfield. 
And the final header, which the goalkeeper did well to turn away. And Mariner gets a flick on, and Robson was nearly in there. And a good cross again, and Wright's up there, and there's a bit of pushing this time by Butcher. back by Duxbury and they're onside Wilkins, Watson's made a forward run, centre forward position and Mariner is there as well and it was safe He's got a powerful shot. He hit his own player there, Minger. And Liebers over-enthusiastic with the follow-up challenge. A chance for this uh, young East German goalkeeper to show what he's made of early on in this match. Robson was the player threatening on the header. When it came back to Mariner, that instant shot was well collected. Free kick to England taken by Sansom to Williams. one of the finest players in Eastern Europe and that's a tremendous shot to beat Chilton from there and it crashes against the post the substitutes tonight for England are Dave Watson, Gary Bailey, Steve Hunt, Mark Hayfley and Trevor Francis you imagine it's quite hard for the players to lift themselves in this uh, rather subdued Wembley atmosphere tonight this is Barnes he may do the job. Mariner. And if somebody had been coming in there to follow up, then he might have had a go. coming in on the far side oh nicely done Wilkins deflection and the goalkeeper down again it's getting quite a bit to do is Muller in the East German goal the earlier shot there by Paul Mariner came back off his body Butcher pulled away to this side jumping with Zürcher and the clearance by Steinbach here's Woodcock well played and a back heel for Duxbury and a corner from Butcher. The East Germans coming out in a line, but Barnes is onside. And a flying header by Brian Robson. Pat on the head from the goalkeeper, who must be relieved. Barnes, who got the ball in from a difficult angle, and Robson threw himself at that, made contact, but just brushing off the side of his head, perhaps. 
was certainly a good whipped ball in there by John Barnes. And Robson getting into the penalty area at every opportunity. Brian Robson, who wants just one goal to go into double figures in international football. Nine in 36 appearances for England. The way back is cut off by Woodcock. something from a free kick. Steve Williams was going to get involved in these at times. And uh, Ray Wilkins is the other player standing close to the ball, but Williams can curl them. And that was Williams' deflection off the wall for a corner. That may well have been heading for the top corner from the expression of Williams after the deflection took it over. still forcing these Germans to cover hurriedly on that curled in swinging corner kick from Wilkins. Two of them up with Butcher, his Barnes. Header out was by Minger. And now Woodcock. That's great. Germans pushing up here. Was that offside against Robson? The linesman has got his flag up, but wasn't instantly seen by the referee. Levers. Williams getting back to help Wilkins there. Here's Sansom. And back again to him from Woodcock. And now Wilkins. And Woodcock makes the run to the left. Good play by England, this. Barnes again. Sansom now. And again, Barnes. Gets the cross in for Robson. Just ran away from him, rather. Still in play. And Robson still there, too. Well, England having by far the greatest share of play. Can they produce the goal on the end of it? Here's Sansom. And off. No, he's not. Woodcock. Well, the linesman doing England a favour there, I would have thought. The Germans, who don't normally protest looking across very anxiously there was no flag and England had a corner just under five minutes left in the first half and Butcher and away by Zercher Williams with the drive good save Second time that Steve Williams has been deprived by this East German goalkeeper. And how well keepers seem to play at Wembley. It's a good stop. Levers. comes forward from midfield. That was a good run and he was well found too. Looking for Robson. Steinbach. That's a nice touch by Strike. It really was. It put Ernst in possession. Minger's in the centre. Strike is also making it now. And a corner's been given. Corner at 
pitch this strike. Attempts to misplace cross. And here's John Barnes on the right wing. Beaten by Steinbach. Here's Minger. Levers. Starman. Career outside him. And these Germans have got plenty forward here. Career coming inside. Actually, uh, he scored a very good goal against Scotland last year in the European Championship qualifiers. Ronald Crear from about 35 yards. Just over two minutes left in the first half. England nil, East Germany nil. Foul there by Starman on Mariner. Chance for Butcher to make his way forward on the far side. Offside is it? Well, that was a wasted free kick then. Butcher has to make his way back. Bobby Robson has moved downstairs now. Well, there's nobody in that space forward. Poor ball by Stein, straight to Robson. And that's for Barnes. And England have got four in the centre here. Still Barnes and still four weight. again. That's great. So, no score in the first half. A match not helped, as Bobby Robinson, I'm sure, would agree, by the subdued atmosphere inside Wembley, but there were one or two moments to admire. Steve Williams had two good attempts, both saved well by the East German goalkeeper. And there was that marvellous moment when Jürgen Streich, who's joined the celebrated band of international centurions tonight hit a shot which was worthy of another one of those Bobby Charlton and the result was it hit the post and consequently we haven't seen a goal